Hi Fairies, welcome back to my channel, it's Rachel Andrea. So, let me just address this right in the beginning of the video. If I keep looking to my right, that's because it's my monitor. I'm just trying to make sure that I'm in focus. I have to kind of just train myself to not keep looking in that direction, but I'm so used to it because I just try to make sure I'm in focus all the time. But yeah, um, I want to just quickly address this really quick because I feel like it would be a little bit awkward for me to just start a whole completely different video from my last video and not address this current video um, with me just saying a little bit about that one. I don't regret doing that video. I don't regret doing that video at all. I don't regret me acting the way that I did in that video because if it wasn't for me doing that video, I would have never been able to see how I was really acting to change if that makes any sense so it's not really the fact that i want to like say sorry for like acting like that in a video because i don't regret it at all because if it was never for me acting the way i was towards him and you know not really making eye contact and just talking over him and things like that if i never saw it i would have never took notice to it to want to change it like obviously people tell you about yourself all the time but you won't really understand and know it until you kind of take yourself outside of yourself. Look at yourself the way people look at you. And I felt like that was kind of one of those moments in that video. And that's even why I made the comment that I did underneath the video. Because like I said when I made the comment and what I said when I made the comment, me just sitting and editing the, the footage and posting it in general, I already knew I was going to get backlash i already knew i was gonna have people you know look at me crazy or kind of look at me differently or have be able to have an opinion about me because you guys only see me do hair and makeup all the time that's strictly what i like to stick to i purposely only did hair and makeup because i just didn't want to give people the opportunity to have any type of feelings towards me other than my job, I literally came on YouTube, got the hell off, and that was it. You guys kind of a little bit saw my personality, but not that much. And I feel like in that video, you guys really kind of saw my personality, but for the bad, if that makes any sense. And I feel like, you know, everyone has different sides to them and everyone, you know, had some effed up sides about them. And in that video, this played my effed up side so you will be seeing him more on my channel i've decided that you know we are in a better place we are working on things we are working on the steps of getting back into a good trusting loving relationship and you guys are gonna be coming on a journey with that and i'm open to you guys coming on a journey with that okay now let's get right into it First thing we're gonna do is use my trusty Sebastian Shaper Plus Spray. It looks like this. And my hair is braided back. I have such a treat for you guys because I'm going to be getting my hair done by this, um, this specialized natural hair hairdresser. She's in Philly. I don't wanna give you guys too much information because I wanna have that whole video recorded and I give you all the tea there. But I'm going to her on Tuesday in a couple days, so I'm so excited. I have not gotten my natural hair done. When my hair has been this length and never, I've never really grown my hair out to be this long in general. I've always been wanting to cut my hair like all the time. I don't know why I keep using my hands. <laughs> I've always been the one to have my hair short. I've never grown my hair out. And then if you guys are OG of my channel, have been following me for forever, you guys will know that I made the decision in July of 2018 that I was going to grow my hair out. And if you guys are interested in seeing how long my hair was then, I had like my sides were shaved down and my top was probably about this long. It wasn't that long at all. So if you see how long my hair is now, my hair comes to about right here. So if you see how short my hair was in 2018 of July until now, it's been a little bit over a year in some months. It's insane how long my hair got, but I'm so excited to show you guys that video, but yeah. First, I wanna start by using the Sebastian Shaper Plus Spray, and I'm going to spray my little baby hairs because i have a lot of baby hairs that just needs to go back and i'm just going to brush them 
brush them, brush them, or comb them back, should I say? Let me show you guys. Drum roll, please. Here it is. So this is from Bedhead Tigi. Their hard head extra extra strong holds hairspray. And I'm so happy because I know this is like freaking huge. I don't know where my got to be spray is, but my got to be spray bottle is probably like about this big. And this one is like ginormous. It's 10.6 ounces, but let me show you. They have a mini. So this is three ounces, perfect amount. If you guys are gonna be traveling, I know damn well I do not wanna be taking this um, traveling wherever the hell life decides to take me, um, wherever I decide to go. Um, I'm not traveling with this, it's just way too big and I'm scared that it will like explode in my suitcase because that has happened to me before. So I'm happy that they have a mini. You can only get this at Ulta. I'm not gonna say only because I've only seen it at Ulta. I have not seen it at any CVS, Walgreens, Rite Aid, and I have not seen it at uh, Walmart. I've not seen it at Sally's. The only place that I place I have seen it so far is Ulta. Screenshot it, take a picture, write it down, do what y'all need to do because sis, this is tea right here. I'm going to put this little one down. First thing I'm gonna do is this is buildable. Just like how the got to be spray was buildable, you could put on one layer, two layer, three layer, three layer, blah, 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 blah. one, two, or three layers. This is exactly the same. Um, the more layers you put, the stronger the hold, the more tacky um, the consistency will be. So I'm going to do. I'm gonna do two layers and I'm gonna do two layers just because I wanna show you guys how good the hold is. And the first thing I'm gonna do is, I broke it. I broke it. I broke it. Oh, see, God knew what was, what God knew, God knew that was gonna happen and that's why he told me to get a little one. I am taking that back. I'm taking it back today and getting another one. I don't know what happened. I'm gonna take my little mini one and go ahead and get started before I F up this one too. But the first thing I wanna do is show you guys on the back of my hand how sticky, tacky, firm this spray is. So let me get in close for you guys to see. I'm going to spray one layer and it dries pretty quickly. Let me just hurry up. So, I'm just going to like push it in. Okay. Oh my gosh. Like it's, it's stuck. It's stuck. I'm pulling. This is me pulling my hand. Do you guys see that? It's crazy. And you guys don't see that white residue. Got to be always had that white residue. This, no sis. I mean, you can, you see like a little bit, but that's because I was like playing with it a little bit. But once you set this drawn in place, good. It's not going to be super messy. It's not going to be white all over the place. Sis. T. Okay, so I'm going to do, um, let's just have fun with it and do two layers. So I'm first going to do one layer, let that dry with my blow dryer, and then do a second layer and let that dry again. And for this part, it's most likely just going to be sped up because it's nothing serious. Oh, one other thing, it smells so good. It smells like candy. So much better than got to be. Got to be smelt like crap. This smells like fragrance, just candy, like just yumminess. And let me note that when I blow dry, I'm blow drying on medium heat. Um, not low, not high, just medium. Before I go ahead and put on my second layer, um, I'm going to be using my Hair VV Bob um, Lace Frontal Wig. This is a 13 by six. Um, just go ahead and check out my video two videos ago because I went super in depth of me doing the unboxing, how I cut the lace and everything. So if you guys are interested in seeing that, go ahead and check that video out. But I'm just gonna be using it again because I love this Bob so much. It's like my literally my throw on and go type of wig. I love it so much. 
um it is 13 by 6 but on the sides it's more or less like a two inch so i talk about these 13 by 6 um, factory wigs all the time um, most likely on the sides you're not going to get that much wiggle room um you're really just going to have it straight in the middle so yeah let me just go ahead and put this on halfway so that when i do my second layer the wig is already on Now I'm just going to slide the wig up and place starting from the middle. Started from the bottom, now I'm here. All right, I'm gonna take this spray one more time and spray it directly on. Don't worry about these little hairs in the front. I'm gonna be cutting these off because they're just excess lace that I just don't want. I'm mainly just going to concentrate on the back, like this area, and just spraying and pushing it down. All right, I'm just gonna take my Morphe scissors now. Oh, this fucking, this freaking, sorry guys, I'm cursing. Freaking spray is amazing. And it's not shiny. It is a little bit, but it definitely goes away like after a day. It does not stay shiny at all. Now I'm just gonna take my Morphe scissors and start to cut these little pieces off. All right, now I'm just gonna take the spray one more time. And you guys see how my hairline isn't like white and crazy looking. <laughs> okay, take the spray. Let me fix my little side. I don't know what's going on. All right, one more time. And I love that when I spray it, it doesn't like get all over the place. Like, you know, like wherever you spray it, the nozzle goes in that one section. All right, you guys, this is a finished product. Um, let me just do like a slight tug. This is not, this is not an RP. This is not WWE where you can like literally sit and wrestle your wig off and think it's gonna be staying when you're tugging that hard. It's not that type of hold. It's a very extra firm hold, it's very strong. My wig does not feel like it's going to fly off. It's very, very, very good with sweat resistant. If you guys want me to do like an updated video where I go and work out with one of my wigs on my head using the spray, let me know. Um, and yeah, because this this spray is so bomb. I've been using it for probably a couple of weeks now. I've been experimenting, seeing how it does, how it does with sweat, how it does with humidity, how it does with the shine and sheen and stuff. Just like bold hold and all that stuff. After a while, when you have it, when you have a hair tie wrapped around your hairline, the whole shininess, shininess goes away, just like got to be after a while, it went away. Same thing with this, um, same tackiness, if not better than the got to be, no white residue, like how the got to be has. Um, and it's just so bomb. It's just so bomb. Let me kind of tug a little bit so you guys can see. Oh! This. I love this so much and it smells amazing got to be smelled like medicine this smells like candy so I know the smaller one the travel size retails for ten dollars um the bigger size retails for twenty dollars I don't really know if that's really a 
deal you might as well just get the bigger one but again the smaller one is perfect for traveling got to be did not have a smaller travel size this comes in absolute clutch when traveling listen i could not stand carrying my big ass got to be spray all the time this is great for your freaking purse if you feel like you need to do a touch up throughout the day which you probably won't it's a lot more convenient to carry this around than it is a bigger one but you will have this for forever you guys so if you guys want to pick these up let me know let me know how you like it um let me know how it is when you try it out i really want to know you guys' feedback um and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it was very informative i finally gave y'all a spray that's worthy so make sure you guys stay tuned for my next video and can't wait to see you guys for my next one bye guys